Hi guys, what's up? It is Weird News Wednesdays. Awesome, I know, I'm excited. Lots of great news stories to cover, but before we get to that, I, I wanna just say, I told you guys to harass me on Tuesdays to do Dumb Yahoo Answers, and some of you did. Uh, I didn't have time to do it yesterday, so to make up for that, I'll probably upload Dumb Yahoo Answers tomorrow in addition to the other content I was gonna provide tomorrow, so you know, be ready for that. It's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be fun, but now let's get to our news stories because you know what? We're done with all the small talk. Let's get it on. So this story has just an amazing picture to go with it. But before I show you that picture, let me explain the situation first. So there was a homeless guy and he was like, you know what? I'm going to break into a house today. So he was trying to pry open someone's garage door in order to get through to their house so he could, you know, break in and, you know, do whatever. I don't know what he's going to do there. Maybe take some stuff. He's homeless. Maybe he's going to sleep there. Who knows? Don't know the actual reason. Doesn't matter. So while prying open the garage door, it fell on his head. Just look at the picture. That is evidence that karma is a bitch when you act like a bitch. So <laughs> I got, I just love that picture. When I saw it, I was just like, oh, this needs to be my desktop background. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But that is an amazing picture and it, it, it makes that story seriously funny. So. Yeah, don't, don't do that guys, don't do bad things because sometimes bad things do happen back to you. A woman was arrested after drunkenly driving into a sand trap on a golf course and her car got stuck in the sand trap so the police eventually like found her there. The, the best part about this is that she told the police that her GPS had told her to turn left into a cornfield and eventually into the golf course. Bitch. <laughs> what the fuck excuse is that? Just admit your mistake and say, dude, I was fucked up. I drove through this cornfield and I drove into the motherfucking sand trap. Like, what? People be crazy, man. In Australia, thieves have stolen 92 pounds of, wait for it, wait for it, mayonnaise. What the hell are you going to do with 92 pounds of mayonnaise? Holy shit. I do, God, like the thought of that much mayonnaise makes me want to die of a heart attack, die of extreme obesity. Ugh. I never want to hear the words 92 pounds of mayonnaise ever again. And in other weird, you know, crazy amount of food hijackings, in Austria, 9.5 tons of garlic were stolen. And, and the police actually found the suspects based on the fact that their vehicles smelled so strongly of garlic. Like, if you're gonna steal something, garlic's probably not a good way to go because it, you know, it's strong, it's very strong smell, you know? You're not, you might not get away with that one, you know? Gotta be careful. The mayonnaise was a good idea. You can't smell mayonnaise, you know, it's in the jar. You, you can get away with it. A few school officials and teachers are in trouble from one school in Canada after, during a school canoe trip, they told the students that moose droppings were berries. And so, of course, the kids, you know, put the poop in their mouth and, you know, threw up whatever, got pissed off. They told their parents, parents freaked out, whatever. All right, let's think about this for a second. I know that kids can be dicks. Kids can be extremely hard to control. They can be hyper. They can be mean. But God damn, do you want to keep your job? Who does that jeez oh my gosh i'm sorry i just uh, the the amount of stupidity in people just really makes my brain hurt and sometimes i just want to like punch myself in the face for even being human and associated with these dumbasses in ohio the cleaning fairy was busted so a woman was arrested after well let me explain the story so what is the cleaning fairy you ask well this woman would break into homes clean them, and then leave a bill. On this bill was a $75 charge and her name and number so that people could contact her to pay her. You dumb bitch. Like, what the hell is wrong with people? You don't break into houses and leave your name and number. If you wanted to go and clean a fucking house, you'd be like, yo, I broke into your home, cleaned it, but I took $75 worth of shit. Maybe, you know, that might be a better idea uh, in the long run, but, you know, breaking in isn't cool anyways, as we learned from the guy who had a fucking garage door fall on his face. So this story, you're gonna be like, are you serious? 
but a roving gang of cows interrupted a barbecue and stole the people who, you know, the people who were there. They stole the beer. The cows took the beer and started drinking it. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so, I just really like the idea of just this gang of cows coming up to a party and they're like, moo! And, uh, you know, they get up to someone, they're like, move over! And they just take the beer and just start chugging. I'm sorry, that was so stupid. But can you imagine? Just picture that in your head and tell me that is not funny. <laughs> All right. If you guys, uh, you know, want. You can always send me weird news. I always like reading weird news. It's like one of my favorite things to do. News is fun or sad, but weird news is the best. So, you know, you can message me them, tweet me them, whatever. And, uh, you know, if you want to check out last week's episode, it was pretty funny. You can go check that out by clicking the screen. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.